national development plan bi plan la bi nga xamne ni pour plan rew mi la naka la ñoy def develop rew mi plan bi ni domi rew bu neka yang si am wala ndp bi lo lo mu na gis moy ma commencer ci yoni bori passa mas fale ligi nañ fa ay yon modern route yon yi nga xamne ni yon yu bax nañ te legi chono dem di taha wala dem di am naka naka kom problem lo lepp legi mu na wax ne passé na am school yi ñu le nay taba li ndp bi ku neka mo wara taxaw gis ne li ñu ñok mom ku neka dafa wara jël ownership ne li man ma ko mom access to water ndox tamé war nañ ko mëna am gis nañ ñu ngi am ay bohul ñu ngi am ay ndox li yépp mu ngi ñew fi ni mu ngi mu ngi mu ngi am légui ni sax ñu ngi ñew start eh nak 86 li kilometer road moy wuñaadu kunte haklang bobu nonu is a very big project bo xamni mu ngay ñew start am ci fi ak ay li bu new gis na time bu new so fok na dal am lu bari mu ngay am tam ndp bi tamé try na expand am rural electrification eh li project bi ni moy gohi tam yeb mu na am eh li kurang kunte am na kurang ki nguur bi president moko jité dafa am ene ak ité develop rew mi lu ko doré ci yoon yi ndo e ak kurang l'hôpital ni school yi lepp lo xamni dal social amenity la social needs la lolu dinañ try ñu am ko suñ ko muñta am tam ci suñ bir neeki way duñu sori so jele li nga xamni ni nga tie ko ne yo yak mom in fok nga tie ko nga fonka ko be pare mu mun latame ngeriñ li nekut am ci benna anam wala benna bor waye luma li dal moy euh plan la bi nga xamni ni plan ni rew mi la te pour naka lañoy def be muna develop gambia bi nga xamni ni ñu ñoko mom ci lu bari comme no bi wa ci courant ci yoni ci ndo ci school yi l'hôpital ni ak yu bari 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 te gis nañ ne stana mu ngi am nanga nanga kon lolu naka sante yalla mu na wane mu ngi dem nanga nanga waaw environment climate change and natural resources are cross cutting uh, there are important sectors in the country which uh, we partner with and which we collaborate with the agricultural sector is completely dependent on environment and uh, of course you know on climate so therefore any issues that concern environment and climate will necessarily affect agriculture when it comes to uh, the Ministry of Water Resources and Fisheries I have indicated the oceans you know the rivers you know which are all important for both transportation and for uh, fisheries uh, livelihood uh, these are all important areas of uh, the environment you know that uh, we need to actively co collaborate with in terms of you know responsibly exploiting our fisheries uh, resources and of course managing our natural endowed naturally endowed you know water bodies you know be it the atlantic ocean as well as the uh, river gambia and its uh, so many uh, tributaries <music> interest you to know that uh, the fish that is caught in the oceans you know normally use the rivers to go and do their spawning so to speak that's their breeding ground and so the river gambia and its tributaries are important as far as uh, spawning and uh, breeding fish uh, is concerned
we all know that uh, Gambia agriculture has been dependent on rain fed. Uh, now, with the climate change phenomenon, like I said, what we are experiencing is a decrease in the amount of rainfall, number one, and of course, the erratic nature of that rainfall itself, where you have a very unpredictable spatial, that is, over, 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 over the country, length and breadth of the country, the distribution is very uneven, as well as temporal also, uh, that is, over time, the expected rainfall pattern, you know, is very unpredictable. Now, when it starts raining also, uh, we can't really uh, rely, uh, reliably predict the sufficient amount of uh, rainfall, uh, or we don't no, no, normally get uh, sufficient amount of rainfall that is required for crop and livestock uh, production. And as a result, this has put us in a, our agricultural sector in a precarious situation. Agriculture, in collaboration with the Natural Resources Working Group as well as the uh, uh, Ministry, had to come up with uh, new policies and uh, measures to uh, adapt and you know ourselves to the new reality, and where we alter our pattern of agriculture. Number one, we make sure that um, the rice, which is our main staple crop, you know, is normally produced in five ecologies. That is the upland rain-fed, which is completely dependent on rain for upland rice, you know, and then of course lowland rain-fed, you know, again, uh, irrigated uh, perimeters, mangrove, again, rain-fed, you know, and of course uh, the uh, deep water ecologies. Now, what we're trying to do here in adapting ourselves to the climate change uh, uh, patterns is that we have to put in place measures to produce rice intensively and also both within time and space. Within time, we instead of just one rice crop for the rainy season that we depend on, now we try to expand irrigated rice production so that we can have a double crop of rice. We can produce rice during the rainy, uh, dry season, you know, pumping water from the uh, River Gambia, as well as uh, during the rainy season. And also, in collaboration with our with our partners in the sub region you know which are specialized in the rice uh, development uh, i.e. africa rice particularly we make sure that we come up with uh, new varieties that are very high yielding that way we can intensify our production in a unit area and get you know very high productivities and so if you are get if we are getting only say for example 30 tons per hectare you know on a rain fed you know ecology with the traditional varieties that we have with an improved high yielding variety you can get up to six seven even up to sometimes up to 10 tons per hectare now what that enables you to do is you know maximize per unit area okay and doing that also it has its implications on adapting to environmental changes as well as our climatic changes. Environmental in the sense that we know the pressure that we are putting on the finite land resources that we have, you know, for cultivation and for grazing of animals and other human activities. Uh, since those are so many, we want to make sure that we maximize the rice production on a given area without having to uh, cut down, you know, and expand, you know, uh, extensively in other areas. In a nutshell, what I'm trying to say here is that the new rice 
uh, policy that is geared towards achieving self-sufficiency uh, and food security in rice is to make sure that we intensify uh, irrigated rice production within a given area utilizing highly improved uh, uh, modern uh, rice uh, varieties. One of the things uh, when I took over as permanent secretary that the uh, minister tasked me to do um, is to make sure that you know we mobilize our human resource and not only mobilize but organize it in such a way that we are able to one make an impact as far as policy implementation is concerned but number two be able to adequately communicate you know because without adequately and properly communicating what you're doing there is not that awareness and when there is a lack of awareness there is ignorance and there is apathy normally towards uh, your, your, your very existence. You would be surprised how many people know the number of nurseries that we have in this country. How many people are aware that there is a drive to achieve a million trees you know, in this country. So this enabling environment as far as uh, uh, implementing our activity as a civil servant is concerned is a far cry far cry from what you used to obtain and it's a big massive 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 improvement and that uh, has actually made it stress-free you know uh, you can go to work and go back home you know uh, back in the days you know I can't imagine a month that goes by you look at the newspapers without seeing a civil servant X or Y director X or managing director Y you know has been fired has been arrested you know uh, has been reprimanded uh, you name it and those that is long gone now and we really thank the uh, current uh, regime the president and his cabinet and his uh, government for setting that tone you know and I think it's a uh, it's a very good one that will augur well for not only the democratization of the country but for the smooth implementation of policies that we have set out and that we have committed ourselves to along with our development partners so we are very grateful and we are very thankful and we pray that that situation will be nurtured and uh, to higher heights ko hamon bañul demba ci tilim ko hamon bañul demba ci yoyu bari ko hamon bañul demba ci tali yu bon for decades the city has been neglected and gradually losing its glory as the capital city of the gambia kaminal fi ah ay atti gnaw dañ amon problème bu reere 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 ci affaire yoon bi affaire kilian yi jalla ci dañ amon problème man ma ngi dika ken street pour wa last year nawet bi bo joge bo joge ken street bu ga dem port authority da nga wiré ji be bori marché pour mëna aga port sun terminal bi bu musa taw kenn du fi jaar ndax poto poto i think gambia is lacking behind but lack of maintenance also is a big problem for this road we have to in 1989 1989 ni wi ci affaire infrastructure bu ko dafa lacking trop trop to revive the city to its lost glory his excellency president adama baro with support from partners took it as a priority to rehabilitate the city to the modernity it deserves. Government has committed 35.6 million US dollars for its implementation. The project components comprise roads, sewage, drainage system, and implementation will commence this year 2019. President Barrow's agenda for the city is to transform it into an envy of the sub-region.
to give their full cooperation for the proper implementation of this project. Noting that when completed, it will improve the welfare of residents in Banyun and beyond. Economically, the project will encourage more investment, infrastructure development, thereby creating more employment for Gambians and improving their incomes. Without doubt, the implementation phase will create employment opportunities for many Gambians. Tay kugis banjul, kepo kugis banjul tay agni kero arama baro, diga ham newa banjul kontan nengi arama baro, diga ham newa banjul big nengi arama baro, diga ham newa banjul sopan nengi arama baro. Mandal baro dal, so gisi mo buka ko, tiri es bung wasa juta gusah, nyebis nini mudi ke banjul, te banjul nyebis on nengi faya ko, mante so gisi banjul demba banjul ko, koko uti. Je <coughs> Dan aku wah banyul mom, fok ni konten si presiden Arama Baro. Pas kita nak wah dega neh yala, nyun wah banyul Arama Baro dapat nyuli gel. Di am konten te agn bete di ko nyanal jam, di ko nyanal tim limu sumuni yala agelo kofi jam, muya kofi nak lol tuir ang bolam dua bikam yani pinek. Nak presiden Baro. Ligue bien fait à mon gisnan quoi. Et le quoi il dit à Ibanyul moi pour nous. C'est ligue il vous a fait. Binga hamne, mon angoura mon quoi de fait Ibanyul tay. Ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed a pleasure and an honor to gather here today to launch the groundbreaking Banjul Sewage, Drainage and Road Rehabilitation Project. Wow! Be for the Liga Ivi. Et mon grec qui est allé à Paris, il y a eu 6 mètres de la fille Boka. Wow, parce que le président Arama Baro a dit, nous n'avons pas besoin de 6 mètres de la fille à Paris, nous n'avons pas besoin de nos problèmes, nous n'avons pas besoin de nos problèmes. Nous n'avons pas besoin de nous, le président Arama Baro, c'est ce qu'il a dit. Et nous n'avons pas besoin de nous contenter, parce que nous n'avons pas besoin de nous, nous n'avons pas besoin de nous. Man, nyun minggu ham nyun kita ke afdai, nyun lindan dan dan nyun dah nyokoh ham. Apabila nasi uti mualan, tali, pas nyun tali lain buka. Apa repa hiep barang kujer silko, buah buah dengan ada ganjil buah banyul banyul hiep yola. Mau dengan hiep dia udah hujan kombo. Wanti lagi ngaji dengan buah kombo hiep nyun nyun nyebo ham. Nasi uti nyun banyul lagi set, nyun civilized amat tu bendio. Bunyi negara sun tami halibu lagi musim fefeka tali bu seteni bu baheni tamit. Jam senegal bu fini le nampile posen dah usi baling bu si hair bini. Hawai film ni kan ni, nyonya dengan mana langsung ibu sangi cembir ada begu di, tuak di film lo, am dengi awak bunyi mata, because of kali nak pahit ya tefar nengen, nak amat tu cipahit, wow, yo amat tu cide kabi, cide kabi bah nara fatna, nyon konten nyon wa afdai, wa wa afdai, jauh ya kocik afdai, befi, nyepa konten cipar, di rental weekend tar, nyepa konten, doh yang ye flood di konten cipar, di konten cihad, wow, doh minde yam. Kontan yang cili gay bi masya Allah, cili gay bi set na rafet na. Jadi kalau cili gay, cili gay hal lenyol cili gay. Dengan am air cili gay bi, cili gay bi apa bah, apa korang? 
ignore_time_segment_in_scoring I think I have said it several times, 2019 is the turning point for Gambia. This year, we are going to take a look at the army of Natalie, the army of Natalie, the army of Natalie, the army of Natalie, the army of Natalie. We are going to take a look at the army of Natalie. Nous avons fait ce qu'on a fait aujourd'hui, nous avons fait tout ça, 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 nous avons fait tout ça. Pour maintenant, je demande à tous les citoyens de donner leur propre compréhension pour la propre implémentation de ce projet. Notez que quand il est complet, il améliore le bien-être des résidents de Banyoun, and beyond. Parce que quand on a banyul demba et banyul tay, dinga hamne arma baro liyal nyu. Lego sun terminal bu tawe bula ne kenga lansa basang taxa para taxa kazi ata. Nah, terminal bi setna silui sena yoni bahna. Lampi doina marsala. Deki bi yep konkuri nengko. Deki bi yep tali nengko. Baro dal nengko inyanal muya gupti wer agua mikambin yep. Lol dah lagi nyanyi sama orang tak hendak. Kontan nanti cuma teruk. Nak mungkin dia flubah, mungkin bah flubah, mungkin lagi. Wah banyak nyom. Amun jarak puruah. Ada mah baru lulu. Ada mah baru jere jere. Ada mah baru jere jere. Tapi nyanyi ala. Ada mah baru mungkin feya gatuhir. Nah wah banyak jam kena. This occasion demonstrates vividly my government's commitment to providing the city of Banyul. With the best possible infrastructure to make the settlement more inhabited. Nunwa banyul boku nsi tiriyes. Nunwa banyul nyu boku nsi tiriyes. Hamu mbele nsi ari ba nunwa banyul boku nsi tiriyes. Five years rek. Man mane five years rek. Because of liga ibaro lim kefiti bir banyul. The far effect so to afdai. Ten nyu nyu judo ba afdai fi yaro fi mage fi. Lolo mata nyu ne five years rek. Be afda nyu se nyu deme. Utali fifteen years nak. Wah, dega bi mom, ah, hari na bena bena, rek nyonya kerja dua tiga years. Wah, tiga years lor, dah ikut orang youth pur campaign rek. Wah, dah five years susu bayar lah, baru nata aw five years, tapi susu bayar lah. Wah, mula five years dek. Dah fata awat bena election, tada fahamin, insya Allah. Lor mom, lu mala awan dia awas ben nyari hel. Dia tiada dia wah, nyun bokun jutei, bokun si elek, nyun tujuh orang adi, berfau, baru mom nyun kosong potei, nyun kosong pot elek. Wah, nyun dia 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 susun nyun baru dek far. Nous sommes tous les années 2016, nous sommes tous les années 2016, nous sommes tous les années 2016. Économiquement, le projet va encourager plus d'investissement, d'infrastructure et de développement, de créer plus d'emplois pour les Gambiens et d'améliorer leurs incomes. Sans doute, l'implémentation de l'implementation va créer des opportunités d'opportunités pour beaucoup de Gambiens. Kita dal, kom kumun terah dah hal digente baru ag hadim gaya mungkin nub. Wah, because negara nadi gente buah hamne, yalah muka dafar. Ya, tap presiden baru tamit. Kom mangai old champions, new japa lekap buba. Because mungkin liga lo hamne, hanya liga dekat dunun. Negara step by step lah. Barang aju gaya fee, dem si fenen. So numo liga banjul mum, wah banjul lep kontanen Gambia, adalah jep kontanen. Kom new japa lekap dal. Nunggu kita nak mula japa lekap mungkin liga Gambia lek. 
Je encourage Gambia to help you. Finally, I thank all stakeholders who have, in one way or the other, contributed to the planning of this project. The Kabimum correctly tell me that I'm nice to me. I'm going to continue to meet you. I'm going 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 to meet you. as a permanent secretary of the Ministry of Environment and Climate Change. Environment and Climate Change is uh, more responsible for the uh, environment. And we are also more responsible for the environment. Because we all know that we can live in the world and live in the world. We all know that we can live in the world and live in the world. But we all know that we can live in Waktu monyet udah dari tarde, bunyinya tamit, you know, jadi ganti beda, you know, ambil, you know, moral view kan ni dah, you know, dah fight them for a long time, drought, lulu dah nabi, you know, beli obi aka beti fik living jury, then ciri ama problem you beri, so lulu nak komasi nanti di cidef, ay di cijel ay tangka. Tangka yo yang nak mom, lincah je lalu yang kau def in the context of the national development plan. National development plan bi, mui planning gurgi togli plan am bohab ni mom lateral pun nakala nyoi yo burung kanam. Mui jogi ko 2018 ke 2021 dah nak nyeti at. Wah, tapi tapi nyeti at nang mom, lu muna def lip lagi nak muda gurgi nak tanah. Aye, fikir aku ambil cilu lanyo, kena concentrate di puna assess, you know, sunbo apa at the end of the plan period, put said ne, wah dah, fikir le orang reumi, aku fikir aku agali, fan lang tolu, you know, di biro development, di muda sanyue dah fah program bini, pas ke. Uh, NDPV, you can come as a 2018, from Nekan in 2020, you age him at 2021. League for new set, Billy, you come. Pasca, do you know, you know, for you am I, I take a day. League, both set loss of Pachi Digatevi, Munga, which you could have a Gamuna improve or Muna Muna Safara problem in Gamni, you will encounter along the way. Pasca soon partner, see. Mui United Nations, mui World Bank, mui African Development Bank, Green Climate Fund, niap sun partners lah. Muda ni adalah partners. Di nyuli gaya niom, niom nak di nyu deh muna dimbale. Purnu mobilize resources, purnu purnu muna mobilize kalis dal boham ni. Di nyu kau muna depans. Boleh set lo niun bidan ligi, cingur gi pasai on. Ati ligi. Ninyo oye governance environment, mui engur kita dal ninyo ninyo deh ni file, buat dapat 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 uti. Dengan agis engur gugu, waktu bobo boleh ke senior civil servant command semua masih boleh lige lo, lige rek you know dengan ampur jail permission di negara dari office of the president. Wah lige nak alhamdulillah santai ala lulu amun, angkas freedom, munga talk sa office, pindah joko aksan natangoi. You know, get d'accord, get implement. Bolen pare once in a year, president bi mo the fact yung dem dev to, bolen de mula len lan 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 get dev get one koko. Man to na di kabi niti yung at president bi santay yala alhamdulillah. Hanay yun ako at president di agli agli lan dev. Why na amun ben na problem bi no ben na galang korbo hamin na nga nawa a dem na basede why dem na ikunong ko de why president bi di la dev civil servant yung
this bread is called tokumbo. Tokumbo is a very famous bread. And the bread is good, it's very, it can cook very well. And all these improved varieties can mature within, you can harvest them within eight to nine months. You can harvest them eight to nine months. And the leaves also are very good for plasters and other things. And the planting material also is a source of income for the farmers. You can cut them and market the planting material. And they are also high in starch. They have a high starch content. Because, you know, Amber, no, uh, last time we, we, sell, we give it to Amber one cassava uh, processing factory as, as owner. And they also like this variety. They prefer this variety than the local varieties. Because according to them, this variety can give them more flower quality than the local variety. So this is why uh, Nari is also promoting this variety. And we also disseminate this improved varieties to the farmers. We disseminate, you know, more than 200 farmers are getting this variety this, this year. And last year also we disseminated the farmers free of charge because we want to improve the, you know, the livelihood of the farmers. These are strawberries. We are promoting the strawberry production in the country. This um, one suckers. One suckers was collected by a pen from Senegal. So from that one suckers we are able to multiply, multiply and now we have all this. So from here we will try and identify potential farmers outside and also, you know, at least multiply this super, uh, this strawberry variety. Because we all know strawberry is very important crop. And, you know, in terms of economic, it is, it can generate more income than the other crops. So, and, 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 and uh, strawberry production is not, you know, is not much recommended in the country. But as a result, we want to make sure this kind of crop, you know, reach the farmer's field. Yeah, here is our nursery side. So we know different type of amba seeds here, tomato, mongal, and we also you know we also receive seeds from Hungary, and we are also uh, different sweet type varieties. So we are also nursing them here. From here they will go to the permanent beds. Yeah. So we have you know we also collect we also jam plasm amba local varieties like this indigenous varieties, nibita tomato from farmers. Because you know farmers sometimes they have very good plant, uh, material with them but little is known about those varieties so research when uh, you know research reach to them and collect those varieties and also multiply them you know you know at least so that we can have some information about those varieties because in the world of farmers field you may you know this 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 particular variety may be may be abundant here but if you go to other part of the country it is scarce there so as a research, we just collect those mat materials and also multiply them. When we multiply them, we, we now disseminate the other part, other part of the country. Good. First, when we are doing a research trial, we do a demarcation of the area, knowing the number of beds and the dimension of the beds that we are going to get. After that, we have to raise the beds. In this bed we are seeing, this is, the width is 1.5 and then the length is five meters. After raising all the beds, what we come to do is uh, the application of uh, fertilizer. The fertilizer we apply is the organic fertilizer. Here we are applying groundnut cell and then uh, the chicken manure. This we do uh, to at least improve the soil. When we apply the fertilizer on top, as you are seeing, now we are incorporating it in the beds. After the incorporation of the uh, fertilizers, what we do is we measure the planting holes. When we are measuring the planting holes, now we are supposed to measure the planting holes for the sweet potato. Sweet potato, we are using the distance of 30 centimeters within rows and 30 centimeters between rows. After we, do, after we do the planting holes, then we will come to do the planting. 
we are going to collect the vines in the field out there, bring it up, cut it into 30 centimeters or 40 centimeters long, and then we do the planting. So when you are planting, you need to check the direction of the nodes. You don't plant it upside down. Because when you plant it upside down, it will establish, but it will not have tubers. It will be only roots. Yeah. After the planting, here in the research center, we will, we will, even though it is in the rainy season, but we will do in, we will do irrigation for it to establish, so that we can have 100% establishment of the uh, potato. <music> Ni masa kunda ya bunda lelandi ya aido kunya bunda lelandi kafu ni national development plan. Yo, one national development plan ya je kabo 2018 kana 2021 sanji sababu chuo kono kato masa kunda ata abedo hula no watu fire fan sasi kuwa lako nini 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 ni kila ni watu kono watu kwa level priorities yo dumu kono tu fana la ni alhawa tankaro policy lo. Wulu nyenta na nyi alhawa tangkandi la nyanya nyanya dila. Wulu mukulle tu mimi anongo fungi seni andingi koindi. Wosini ndiro ni koindi ro. Funga mol sawari nyo ya mimi anongo imundo kunyole di. Kafuole stakeholders na nyongol. Woto na hakil tu ndanda ngola kuoto. Boka ke fungo fungi kama kake ni na kama pur kama fung tanga aningka na balunya swani yake. Woto asekembele do kuoti. Se ni longo ni ko alkana plastiko lfai plastiko ni e fai fai ndulalo plastiko ati kavin for biodegradable pro ni a fai banko kono pura ni banko e ke nyia nyami e ke kilimodi akasaji juru mu juru mu leta wada dilo ati nangafuko alkana plastiko lda kani fai banko banko da wada diata yodi ba la fana ko hani kotal mi ni alongo e benda de jibor silo ladlal Nimbuki seni yandi koma yanda seni yala nyami Iba alako ni sukita Wala kati na jiyo kata akatara lorin laki Jiyo du ni wolota daki ndrong Isa alonko susulal be du na jiyel Du ni susulal du nda jiyo 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 lorin wa dami Wala kanyi maleria kurang Jibeba bi tilo la fong Korona be siyari nyawo nyabar maleria fana be siyari wala nyami Uto asa kembe hakil tu bati Asa kembe wakil bati kaje ko Nanda ngol la doko Kenya, simbolo dunia bulu. Tuh la ministry, kau mengapa nyami? Forest department bejan nekoro, NIA bejan nekoro, Parks and Wildlife, ulbe bejing ministry bunda la koro. Momo sula ta drong proof ini ngad doko ke, perinjam fobase, stand wala forest station old dole, wala forestry office old dole, wala Parks and Wildlife, wala national NIA la office, wala han kuman dam kunda. Ni sura tani ya duko. Ni nanga fele, onsa kunda e taota, e wakilo ta ko alafte ni na. Kajiro tutu, kajiro tutu kwa minsi tafu kajiro million kili. Aruo acha sonya na la na atra ko. Ma ke ni kenya dola. Nunto nunga fole kajiro tutu bara sain kule kajiro balundo. Yo, ba o ni tada ni kajiro duko tutu ulo kordro ya fiji o nyama ita tela hajo. Abe dana wolton, bar niya topato, wote baje lako asiri ano as as baluno, so sain lafta puru ni nang mulye fali, akana ake yiri tuto damati bar yiri balundo uloko, ni yaro ngo nse muna fano ala asena alha wa fara tangani, wolona kumodi wasalam ala bar.
this is one of the projects of its kind, like I've said, for the first time that UNCDF is intervening in the Gambia. And like their slogan goes, is unlocking both public and private finances for the poor. So obviously that will bring about that joy on the face of the local people because the program or the project is designed in such a way that um, whatever allocation is being transferred to the world accounts, 35% of that one is cast for money, cast for work, sorry. And then the 65% of it will be spent on physical project implementation. So obviously um, the local people will identify their own workers on the project and those workers are going to be paid out of that 35 percent. So with that money they are going to be listed or first recruited, workers will be recruited and then that list will be submitted to those of our um, CAS microfinance institutions that the project is also partnering with, be it Reliance and uh, Q Money. So Reliance is able to at least avail them that opportunity to have access to finance at their own level. And Q Money is also able to uh, provide or avail them the opportunity to have access to their uh, money in their mobiles. So meaning they have that mobile account and as well as account with the Reliance. So this avail them the opportunity to have access to finance very closely to them and they can do they are free to do whatever they want to do with this money like in one of our um, trackings this particular boy came from Jara East where one of the project was um, located he said there was this day he wants to go to Banjul and uh, you he has very little money in his pocket. So when he reaches Soma, from Buren to Soma, at Soma, he just went to Reliance and uh, slot his card and be able to get some money to continue to buy jewelry. So he said he was so happy. And if you see him, he definitely shows happiness on his face. Some say they have used the money to buy um, the small ruminants, which they want to use as social protection. And then uh, this and many more examples did come from the um, those on cars for work. But for the communities, you have communities in the North Bank that are very somehow close to the border with Senegal. They don't have clean or safe water source in their community. They have to go to Senegal to get more to get uh, um, safe water for their daily chores. So this project has given them a borehole with a reticulation system and some tap heads uh, distributed in their communities. The significance of uh, opening these key two, two key roads um, to, to start with, with the Lamin Koto a week ago, and today, of course, the Sukuta Jambanjeli Road is, of course, to create accessibility to, of course, the populace, um, uh, to facilities, of course, social facilities, schools hospitals and of course uh, uh, areas of production if I may say uh, farmlands and other you know uh, these are all geared towards boosting a socio-economic development of those areas and at large of course the country the Gambia because where when people are able to move around uh, business is pro prosper um, uh, social activities prosper and uh, as I said more so of course the economic envelopes grows to a level where of course 
um, uh, you can merge it to, of course, the, the connectivity that has been created. Yes, Lamin Koto people have been isolated for a very long time. And we've got over 50, 50 communities living along that road. And they've been disconnected for many years. Um, now that they are connected, um, it takes barely two, three hours to travel now from Banjul to uh, the end of the Gambia in Fototo. Uh, before it used to take a whole day or more if you're lucky if you if you don't uh, if, if you if your vehicle uh, uh, it's, 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 it's really good um, the terrain was difficult and really you can you I used to pity people living along those along the corridor um, but now of course you can see with the with the, with the with the construction of the road they are open to of course all the facilities and that we enjoy in this greater Banjul area and other parts of the country because if you if you have access to 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 if you if you if you are connected through a very good road network you can do businesses you can do other things and social cohesion uh, interaction between themselves which they have not been doing for many years can also prosper in the event um, the same thing applies to the Sukuta Jambanjeli road um, this is one of the uh, routes leading to Gunjur, if I can remember. Uh, it was from here, Sukuta, you go to Jambur, Jamban, then you can connect at Jambanjele to either go to Brikama to Jambanjele. But since the construction of this road, you can see how uh, settlements have, 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 have really developed along the corridor as compared to what was there before. So you can see. Um, apart from the economic and other development, but of course settlement patterns are also changing along the road. And uh, of course we are opening uh, the gateway to other utility providers to come in. Because wherever we have roads, water follows, electricity follows, and really people are happier than they've ever been before. And this is the trend and uh, this is what is going to continue as far as the present government is concerned. I mean Koto is about three years. Uh, it's 121 kilometers long. Uh, this one is meant to be for 18 months, uh, but because of um, the, the main road was completed within this period, but there was a, 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 a component of service relocation, uh, which you know um, allowed the project to drag along for slightly a bit more than 18 months because part of the road was sitting on a Nawek water pipe which had to be relocated um, and that, that of course really took some time but really um, it was as per plan. When of course Adam Abaro was sworn in as President of the Republic of the Gambia he put a lot of emphasis on these projects if I may say and really that helped us of course as implementing agencies to also buckle up tighten our belts to do more because if you have the president right behind you wanting something for his people you cannot relent you can only do more and that's what he has done and that's what we have done as well to make sure we deliver on time and of course as as, as uh, according to the design of the project um, he has supported us in any way in every way to make sure we deliver on our mandate and we are proud to say that we were able to achieve this through his support and uh, everybody and of course my honorable minister honorable minister by lamin job my permanent secretary mot sise and of course on behalf of um, the staff of the national roads authority and everyone who is involved in the implementation of this project the contractor areski the consultants for lamin koto's uh, page in collaboration with cityscape and for this one, I cannot conclude without um, um, commending the collaboration of the Gamworks uh, because they were the ones responsible for this project. Uh, but as the authority responsible for roads in this country, NRA, really the collaboration with Gamworks and of course Areski again, the contractor, um, and of course uh, Studi International in partnership with Mahfuz consultants. Uh, they've really done a good job and really I cannot conclude without, of course, extending uh, my gratitude to them.